This is Giving Week, and we are highlighting a local nonprofit that is helping hundreds of our neighbors with disabilities and those who just need a helping hand. Easter Seals Redwood um, Brighter Future Celebration is underway, and here to tell us all about it is Danielle Gentry Barth from the newly formed partnership that is taking off in a very big way. Danielle, thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you for Saw you me. recently, a couple days ago at you the celebration. Did. Tell us about this new partnership and why it was formed. Uh, Easter Seals Redwood, we combined probably at the at late summer. Um, both organizations have served people with disabilities for years. Yes. Actually, Easter Seals has been serving folks with disabilities for over 100 years, and yeah. Redwood is approaching their 70, 70th anniversary. So, you know, I think we in this community are seeing a lot of coming, coming together of yes. organizations post-pandemic. And one of the things that we were looking closely at is services for people with disabilities. We have known a number of families that have lived on either side of the river mm -hmm. and couldn't access the resources they needed because of the bridge and the river. And right. we felt like the bridge should be a bridge, yes. not a barrier. So we started conversations about how to better serve and make sure people in our community have what they need um, to reach purpose and their highest level. And both boards decided that a combination made a lot of sense for it, the people in our community. It does make sense. Yeah. And maybe more organizations will do that now because you're taking the lead in that. Well, we were fortunate, Pete and I, were fortunate yes. to be part of a celebration yes. on Tuesday. Um, and we're going to show some pictures from that. It was just wonderful, so joyous, so inspirational. And this was, you know, recognizing the two organizations coming together, but also recognizing people. The, pe the success stories that you have. Talk about that a little bit, Danielle. Yeah, what'd you think of those stories? Oh my gosh. Were they amazing? They were amazing, I cried. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't, I was not expecting it. You know, I've heard those stories now, probably as of Tuesday, it was on my 10th time and I still cry. Yeah. And it is a reminder of why we do what we do. So at Easter Seals Redwood, we serve people with disabilities. We serve veterans who need resources to connect to employment. And we serve people living in poverty who are trying to make a better life for themselves and find their way out of that situation. And we had those three stories all represented on Tuesday. Yeah, and, and it's, it's awesome. And the half hour program on those those people uh, featured last night, right? And it's, yep. we're going to have last the program night. featured again Sunday. on Sunday right here in WCPO 9 right. at 1.30. One 1.30, One yes. yes. So we're, we're very excited about that. And as we mentioned, this is Giving Week. And so if people want to help out, if they want to help support what you're doing, what, where can they go? I hope they will help out. Yes. We're always looking for support. Uh, the easiest way is to go to EasterSealsRedwood.org and you will find everything you need there. Awesome. Yeah. That is just awesome. And again, that program airs again uh, Sunday at 1.30. And yeah. we're seeing some video from that now. And, uh, you know, these stories are just captivating. They, they really, really are. So if you can catch the program Sunday at 1.30, be sure to do that. And uh, it's great to see people ov overcoming their challenges, right? It is. And being very successful. It is. Yes. All right. Danielle, thanks so much Thank for joining us. We really appreciate it. All right.